Happy spring everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another exciting project. I will be sharing how I used recycle boxes and some cement to make these beautiful egg holders. If you want to follow along and make this with me, I will be linking the full list of supplies on my blog. I'll add that link in the description or at the top of the comments for you. I made a few different size egg holders. For my big one, I actually used a recycled soda box. I measured 2 and 3 fourths of an inch from the bottom and marked all around the box. I then used some cheap scissors to cut along the marked line. This doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's somewhat even. Next I flipped the box down and marked 3 fourths of an inch from the bottom of the box on the inside. This line for me was very important because it helped guide when I was pouring to see how thick I wanted my egg holder to be. Because the plastic eggs are so light, I needed to add some weight to them, so I added one rock each, making sure that the rocks were similar in size. Now onto mixing the cement. I love working with the stuff that dries really fast, which makes my projects go by a lot quicker. I simply add water and mix until I got a runny consistency. I usually don't make it this runny, but you'll need to be able to pour it into the box mold that you made. And most importantly, one of the things that I actually forgot to check before pouring is to make sure that your surface that you're working on is perfectly level. This will ensure that your egg holder is the same thickness all around. For this next step, it is super important to let your cement kind of settle for about three to four minutes. This will allow it to start hardening so that when you install your eggs, they don't like sink all the way to the bottom. <laughs> I then noticed that the box was kind of bowing because it was getting wet so I used some tape to just kind of tape it together and let it hold in place while the cement sets. And because I was having so much fun and I had a few small boxes, I also filled those and added some eggs. Um, I did notice that eggs keep turning or tilting to the side. It's okay if they tilt a little but if they're doing it too much you can use the tape to kind of help hold it in place. Okay, after about three hours, the concrete was set and I was ready to remove it from the molds. I simply just tore off the box. There were areas that were still wet where there was some like cardboard debris left. I noticed that if the box is completely dry, it comes off cleaner, but this wasn't a problem. My sander fixed that super easy. I used my Ryobi sander with 60 grit sandpaper and removed any rough edges on top and on the sides as well. For some finishing touches, I actually really wanted to give it some color. Um, I was pretty nervous doing this, but I decided to do like a faux terrazzo effect. I picked up four colors at the craft store and used a square tip paintbrush to apply each color. I worked with one color at a time, building up the terrazzo effect. And then I added a few bigger specks at the end and a few smaller ones. To seal everything in, I used some Food Safe Mod Podge and gave it one coat. And that's it, here's how the egg holders turned out. I love the terrazzo effect and I'm so glad that I went for it. <laughs> this cement is so easy to work with and it dries so fast, I cannot wait to make more projects with it. I have made some pumpkins with it before, if you guys miss it, I'll add a link down below for that. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in, I will see you all next time, bye!